Hello everyone, this just came in the mail. And it's a little tiny little art haul. Because I wanted oops, sorry for the loud noise. I wanted to review these guys. And I have this to help me with it. So, in the previous video, I reviewed the uh, professional color pencils by Arteza, and I was very surprisingly happy with them, um, because they're very inexpensive, and the quality was pretty good. Uh, and because I started uh, playing with gouache, I wanted to play uh, with these and let you know uh, what I thought of it. They're... Um, they're less than 20 bucks. They're 18 something, if I'm not mistaken, on Amazon. Now, I wanted to use uh, their watercolor paper uh, to, to try them out. However, you can only buy a pack of two, and it ends up being more than the gouache. And so, when I try something, I don't want to buy a huge quantity. I don't want to buy, buy a pack of two um, uh, watercolor paper pads. Uh, because if I don't like it, then what am I going to do with it? Um, however, I've been wanting to try this one, so that's what I did, and it was really, really cheap. And it's 140 pounds. It's 20 sheets of paper. And it's perfor perforated, so... Let me see. Sometimes the measurements they give is for the whole thing and not the perforated part of the paper so it says five and a half all right that's good five and a half ah, almost anyway it has a nice texture Seems like you can really use it on both sides. So, can't wait to try this. Now, for the Arteza, So when you buy a um, set of professional uh, gouache, like Winsor Newton or M. Graham, which I already have and I really like them, um, these days it's it's pretty good quality and uh, the light fastness is really good. Uh, it used to be that it was only used by designers, so they really didn't care about um, having them fade fade uh, over time because they scanned them and, and they were reproduced, the pictures were reproduced. Uh, but now a lot more uh, fine artists use them, so the light fastness is very important. Now when I look at these, um, Arteza is pretty good in that way that they write um, the name of the color, the opacity, the light fastness and the name of the name of the pigments in in the colors, so they're very transparent for that, um, and I really appreciate it. And it looks like, um, let's see, all of these, but two, the peach red and the mauve pale, are three pluses three stars and these are two and um, so that means they're very very good they last um, up to a uh, hundred years or more so that's that's pretty cool um, 
let's see I don't have much here but anyway so that's great and these are even the two pigments are, are pretty good um, light fastness so there's 24 and I'm gonna do oh yeah the the tube is uh, 12 ml which is slightly smaller than um, let's say a, a, a um, M gram which is I think 15 ml and um, Winsor Newton is 14 I believe so what I'm going to do first is a swatch of these and after that I'll just paint something in this So as you can see, the colors are pretty vibrant. I was uh, very surprised by, by this one. It's called Peach Red. And um, it's really more like a neon pink to me. Um, but it says it it still has two, uh, two crosses here, so it's, it's still pretty light fast. I'm really surprised by that. Um, so yeah, the colors are pretty nice. They dry to a nice... Um, um, opaque and matte finish uh, they're pretty creamy as well so they're they seem really nice the whites there's two whites a titanium white and a white um, and you know what though yeah I thought they were two different but no they're the same pigment they have a different number but they have the same pigment very odd uh, but it's always nice to have two whites because you go through these pretty fast I thought they might be like the Winsor & Newton that have um, the uh, permanent white and the zinc white and the difference between these two is that this one is more of a um, I think it's more opaque and you use it for the highlights Whereas these, um, the zinc white is better to use for uh, mixes with you to light, lighten your, your colors. If you use this one, it'll look more like pastel color. Um, well, that's what I read anyway. But let's see if there's any um, PW5 for this one. And this one is PW6. So the one we have too, the two white tubes we have in the Arteza is more like a permanent white uh, which is a it's nice and opaque and you can tell and I couldn't even see the difference um, so then oh yeah you can see that like regular gouache you can lift it pretty easily and then I compared the colors that I had um, all these are Arteza and then uh, here I've got Windsor & Newton and here M. Graham uh, so they're pretty similar uh, this is more of a peachy color uh, this is more neutral I guess um, this is darker most of them I, I feel like they're a little bit more vibrant they're probably more um, 
so they, they kind of look a bit more pigmented in a way but these are really nice and they have the same kind of finish but I don't know if you can tell on camera but the this is a deeper black than this and same with the blue the ultramarine uh, for the sap uh, the Amgram sap looks more of a, a more natural green than this. This is more like an apple green. And actually, it looks very close to the pale green here. Uh, actually, I should check the... No, the pigments are... The, well, they both have PG7 in it. But one has PY1 and the other one has PY3. So that's the difference. But they, they look really close. Um... Burnt Sienna there, you know, this is a little darker, this is a little bit more red. Uh, I found that the wind out of the three brands, the Windsor & Newton is the cream, the creamiest. Uh, it has a more buttery consistency, but also it has a lot of the, uh, the, the binder comes out. The binder comes out very easily when I, whenever I open a tube. There's always some liquid stuff that you, you saw in the video that I had to wipe off. Um, the M gram is closer to this. I like when these these two, the Arteza and the M gram, when the uh, paint comes out of the tube, it's just the paint. So it's not as messy. But this is the, the most buttery one, and then the M gram, and then the Arteza. However, it's very nice and it's very creamy as well. So. Anyway, the range of color, I think there's only 24 altogether. You can buy them separately, that's the only drawback. Uh, which, and, and so that's why I'm really happy that I've got two whites. Um, but the range of color is pretty good. You have a cool, a cool and a warm of each uh, primary colors. Uh, and you have several blues and several greens, yellows. Um, and and then some um, a couple of browns, so it's a nice assortment. Uh, so now I'm gonna paint a little something with this in my Canson uh, sketchbook, and um, I'll see what will come out of it. For this painting, I used a reference photo from the Sketchy app. It's been in my queue for a very long time, and so I decided to use this one because I love the brightness of all the colors, and it allowed me to use a nice range of colors from the Arteza set. So once again, it's a total guesswork that I'm doing right now. I'm still so new with gouache. I really don't have an actual method. I don't know where to start really. So that's why it's kind of um, daunting usually. I'm always excited to take my gouache paints out and choosing nice subjects to paint. But when it's time to put the paint on the paper, I'm always hesitant because I don't know where to start. Now from the videos I've seen from other artists using gouache and painting portraits with it, it seems like they usually start with the darkest ones and that's probably what I should have done there because frankly it feels like I'm all over the place and I'm working on this side and that side and adding this color and that color. I think next time that's what I'm going to try to do. Add all my darks and then all my lights and then focus on air, some areas instead of going all over the place. Maybe uh, I've seen a lot of people just start with the eyes and pretty much finish the eyes before they move on to the nose and the mouth. Um, maybe I'll try that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Anyway, so it took me quite a while to paint this portrait, about four, four and a half hours because I, I really like to, oh, even though I try to stay loose, um, I always end up trying to blend the paint as much as I can to show smooth skin and uh, <laughs> so that's in me. I just can't help it. And I always try to make my painting look as much like the reference photo as possible. So that's why it takes me so long. And for this one, um, I eventually had to tell myself that's enough. You need to stop now before you mess it up. So I did and um, I like the result. I struggled with it. Again, you might not see it because it's all sped up, but I did struggle with it 
and、um, in the end, I'm happy that I kept going, and I really like the result. As you can see, the colors are really bright. I'm very happy that I was able to reproduce the same luminosity as on the reference picture. So for that, I'll say those paints are really nice. However, I still think that the M gram and the Winsor Newton gouache are better quality. But you know, we already knew that to start with. There is a good reason for that higher price, after all. While the Arteza paints are a pleasure to work with, they blend well. The colors are really nice. The other two, the、uh, Winsor Newton and the M Gram, they're creamier. They blend better. And I think last time I painted a portrait, I don't remember struggling as much. I think could also be because I'm still a beginner. I'm not saying these are bad paints at all. They're really nice and they're a step higher than a student grade for sure. And for this price,、uh, they're really, really good. But I think the the, the actual professional ones, the、um, the other two brands,、um, they're still better. I still enjoy using the other ones better. And I almost forgot to talk about the Canson paper. Well, and I think the reason I forgot it's because it didn't really give me any trouble at all. It worked really well. Didn't buckle. Took all the layers without a problem. I really liked it. All in all, if you want to try gouache and you're on a budget, but you don't want to buy a low-quality brand, I highly recommend the Arteza gouache. The set of 24 is under $20, so it's a very good price. The quality is very good. If you can afford the Winsor Newton, the M Gram, or other、uh, very nice brands, I would recommend those if you can afford it. If you're an artist and you've been painting with gouache for a long time, the Arteza might be a small step down. But again, they're really good paints. The Canson sketchbook is great. I still have to try it with、uh, watercolors because it's 140 pounds, so it should take watercolors just fine. I really like the texture of the paper. It's not too smooth, and the grain is not too thick. It worked really nice for gouache. Yeah, I can't wait to try it with the watercolors as well. So that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.